Welcome to another video. Let's finish this coffee. Today, we are at Nestle Water. We just got the green light. That means we can pull out. Uh, clean the windows so hopefully you can see better. I haven't shot anything in a week or two, so I wanted to shoot another one. So we're gonna pull out from the dock here. It is a little tight here. You can see these trailers directly across from me. Um, it's not even a full trailer length away from the dock. I forgot I had this up. Jacket a little bit. Let's see if you can buy that one now. I just cleared the trailer on my right side. I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we're at Nestle today. We picked up a picked up a load of water last time, about two weeks ago, three hours went by and they didn't even start to load me. I had other pickups to do, so we ended up canceling. But today, as soon as I backed in, they locked me in, put one pallet on, then an hour went by, then they started loading me. So, all right, now that I'm clear, we go back and uh, get these doors closed. And uh, we'll get out of here. Be right back. Ugh, okay. out of here so we gotta drive around this is a big building I don't know the square footage but there's at least a hundred docks on on this side of the building where I'm at we gotta go all the way around I was in dock 32 today hey if you're new to the channel if you never seen my videos uh, thanks for stopping by channel's mainly uh, trucking, cooking, or whatever hobbies are going on in my life. Right now, we're doing a little more trucking videos than cooking, because as you can see, there's over a foot of snow on the ground. The thing over there on the left, that blue thing, you can drive your truck under that, and it takes the snow off the top. I call that a polar blade. I work for a little mom-and-pop grocery store. I gotta go up on top of the shovel. Way off in the distance there, if you can see that brown building directly in front of us, that's Samuel Adams. Brewery. In the summertime, you can really smell the, I guess it's the mead or whatever it is that they use to make uh, beer, but it's very strong. You can smell it all the way over here. Railroad tracks here. They actually get uh, tra uh, trains in here, supplies off the rail cars. And actually, they push it into the building over there. Snow everywhere. There's the guard shack. Uh, there's three plants here. Now, this one, you don't go in the building. Once you're done loaded, they have the red light, green light system. Once the forklift guy lets the people inside know, then they email the paperwork out here. So I waited a couple minutes because it's a real pain if they don't have the paperwork here. And if you have a truck behind you, they make you go park. So fingers crossed they have, they have the paperwork. Just get it and get out of here. That's it. Thank you. Winner, winner. You can see that stop sign right next to me here. I guess somebody clobbered that. We got the paperwork. We are 40,583 pounds. We are only going about 
20 minutes from here back to the warehouse. We'll unload it and then reload it and go to the store. I'm not going to record all that. I think what this vlog, this would be number four. Uh, we're leaving here. We're in Fogelsville, Nestle Water in Fogelsville, or Nestle. Uh, there's two water plants and the Nestle plant. We're going to go through the industrial park and get up to uh, Route 78. 78 splits, and then there's Route 22 and 78. I'll be getting on 22. So somewhere up there by the highway, we'll end this, but uh, we'll get to see going around here in Industrial Park. That's the way in there. You can see there's two lines. There's a call box. You pull. Oh, that guy's there. Uh, you pull right up to it. You hit the button. You talk to him. And if uh, you're too early, too late, or if there's a problem with your number, you make a U-turn and park. So you leave. They don't even let you in. Many moons ago, I used to be a yard jockey here. Decided to get off the road, give it a try. Did it for about almost three years. And then actually, I, I came here. I've been driving for this guy for about seven or eight now. Uh, if you've never seen any of my other videos, I drive a, a 1989 379 Peterbilt. Turning left out of here. snow around here is just amazing. We had, I think it was the second biggest storm of the area. Uh, up where I live, about a half hour from here, it was 31 inches. I'm not sure what that is in centimeters, but it was above my knee, almost like mid, mid thigh. It was high.
road will take us to Route 100. That's the state police cars over there. Binbo, Binbo Bakery is right here on, on the right. They make a lot of your, uh, I think it's, they make a couple different companies like, uh, so just take a look at the trucks. Stroman, Thomas's, Fryhofer's, I guess they Arnold's, they make a lot of different stuff. And then over there, they just, the one next to it, uh, where the, you can see those high, I guess air conditioning units or whatever, that's Ocean Spray. They make all that juice. Recently just added this lane right here will be 
be a ramp lane that you had to get over. But uh, it's nice now. They continue this lane all the way up to where that, when I was mentioning earlier about the 78-22 split, which you can see on the sign up here. Uh, now you can just stay put. But there's so much traffic coming out of here. 78 used to back up all the time because so many trucks and cars were trying to merge in.